72 hours okay answer all questions okay and you have received one attachment one more attachment there what is that scale scale sir that is on the page on which you are giving the solution of course border line should be there it should show at the bottom your name your number signature and that scale you should place along with the solution even if it is 6 inch scale wo bhi chalega okay but this thing is important so that i can understand the measurement of whatever you have considered uh, it is according to the problem okay so anything any further clarification you need about this submission that you know as usual to my office mail id sir in reply mail lot in a fresh mail fresh mail ye kitna baar bataunga beta fresh mail not in reply mail file name so the contain your roll number file name means that pdf sir at least you should tell me bolo sir scale er sambandhe ki bolben bollen aro bolben you have sent one more attachment there that is the skill.jpg file yes sir there along with the solution one scale is placed there skill it is still scale not your drawing subject scale this yes, solution sir. of the scale problem that is different it may be a curve problem it may be projection of simple solid problem it may be section of solid problem that solution and on that page you place one 6 inch or 12 inch that skill steel scale or plastic scale okay yes sir and that file name should contain your roll number and your mail subject line sir kya sir question kahan pe hai मेल में मेल में मेल देखा नहीं सुबह से मेल सब्जेक्ट लाइन शुड कंटेन योर रोल नंबर रोल ओके सो दैट without opening your mail just simply going through that mailbox my inbox i can understand that this roll number has sent me that mail and when i open that mail and find that attachment and when i start downloading all your 184 files so necessarily to uh, go through all these things if that file name contains your roll number necessarily it will be easy for me otherwise it is 
Anyway, there you understand. Okay. Any more clarification you need? So please check your mail, your institute mail ID, NIT DGP. This is a common question. 72 hours. If by any chance you have not received, you ask your uh, so called class representative, whomsoever you have uh, selected. So you just get it from your class representative. Okay. Sir, we need to submit in Sir. JPG format. This is. PDF, okay. Better for Lena. Submit by 72 hours to this mail ID, punindu.ray at ce. You know it. Hmm. Okay. Sir, should I place scale in all the five pages? Exactly. Okay, sir. Take okay. any more clarification. No, sir. OK. Now. So far as. This subject is concerned. Engineering mechanics. In statics. We need to solve the problem for any unknown reaction or any other unknown applied force, etc for equilibrium position, equilibrium configuration. OK, so that resultant force is zero. Now resultant force means it may be active force. It may be reaction force. Reaction forces may be of different kinds with friction, without friction. There may be a spring. Different combinations. It may be a single particle. It may be a connected particle. It may be a rigid object. It may be a system of rigid objects. Whatever it may be, to solve a problem of statics, you have to draw the free body diagram, then write down those equations of equilibrium. That means find component of all the forces along any comfortable direction. It may be X, it may be Y, it may be N, it may be T, maybe U, V, whatever it may be. And you Write down those equations of equilibrium and solve. If it is concurrent coplanar force system, you can solve only two unknown sigma fx0, sigma fy0. If it is a 3D problem, then something different. If it is coplanar but non-concurrent, there you can solve up to three unknown forces. Either so just hold a minute. Huh? I'll be back.
OK, so uh, can I remove this portion? Yes, sir. So where we are, that is uh, solving the problem of statics. I write down those equations of equilibrium and uh, for concurrent coplanar force system, we can solve for two unknowns for concurrent, non concurrent, but coplanar for three unknowns. OK, and uh, we can utilize the vector method for a general 3D problem. Uh, there the direction cosines may be given directly the angles or angles are not given directly only the coordinates in terms of the uh, position of different support or members, etc. OK. Now there may be. Uh, some situation like this. OK. So two members are there, AC and BC. At C, a joint is there, frictionless pin joint. At A, it is connected to the floor by some frictionless pin at A. And at B, it may be connected to the floor like A, or maybe uh, it is supported against a vertical wall uh, in this way, either placing one wooden block there in between this, the block connected at B, or Simply it is connected to the floor like this connection at A. Now, how to find out the reactions at A and B? Now, if we draw the free body diagram, naturally there will be one reaction at A and at B vertical. At A, is it, it is a pin support. Yes. So the, there might be an horizontal reaction too. Might be. Yes, sir. But directly from this force P to support this force, we need at least these two vertical upward reactions due to symmetry. It will be the members length are same L and L inclined at same angle theta and theta. So these two reactions, RA vertical and RB vertical, will be of same magnitude, half P, half P. <clears throat> now, as we understand that definitely, suppose, so let us consider some simple thing. Now, these two members are there. This is the floor. Here is one frictionless pin support. Here is also one frictionless pin support and some force is applied in that similar manner. OK. Now, in comparison to that, if we have a similar kind of configuration, but little difference is there, But in the above problem, we have been asked to find the vertical reactions only. No, I'm discussing about the free body diagrams. OK, sir. Now, in this new diagram, This end, suppose uh, these are the locations.
ए बी सी नाउ इन दिस थर्ड केस इफ बी इज कनेक्टेड टू ए रोलर व्हिच इज रेस्टिंग ऑन दिस हॉरिजॉन्टल फ्लोर एंड इफ वी अप्लाई एनी वर्टिकल डाउनवर्ड फोर्स पी कैन यू डू दैट नो सर व्हाई नो सर इट विल स्लाइड सर Exactly. Straight. So this support is free to move towards right. So naturally, C point will come down here, and B, as usual, it is rolling outward. Sorry, towards right. So it is in some unstable configuration, but. this case it is stable now as if this thing happened with this roller support and we have applied some force to bring it back to this original position in that case we can understand as if the reactions vertical upward and this reaction required to keep it there in its position and to balance that we need equal and opposite horizontal force here also so reaction at e horizontal reaction at e vertical reaction at b vertical and reaction at b horizontal now from sigma fy0 easily you can find that this is half p and this is also half of the vertically applied downward load but what about these two horizontal reactions of course one equation is there they will be of same value and opposite direction but how yes, to find its value and that similar kind of thing is here when this roller type thing or a slider connected to this block free to slide along this horizontal surface it supported between this vertical wall and this position by one wooden block you just simply place this block to stop its movement towards right so in this case also there will be horizontal component of reactions at a and at b vertical components it is half p half p due to symmetry horizontal components those are equal and opposite in direction but how to find it do you have any idea from your previous knowledge of writing down the equations of equilibrium etc etc and for non concurrent coplanar force system equation of moments now if we take moment about point c then r h multiplied by l sin theta uh, sorry l cosine theta that is the perpendicular distance from the line of action this is l sin theta so r a h multiplied by l sin theta this is anti clockwise and r b h multiplied by l sin theta that is clockwise algebraic summation is equal to 0 but that is also repetition of that previous equation of force equilibrium sigma fx 0 that is r a h minus r b h is equal to 0 because l sin theta l sin theta that same quantity gets cancelled sir is in blue figure is there is pin joint also this one yes sir at point c there is pin joint or it's plain c here is a pin sir then can be means separately solve the means fbd then it okay. will increase the then so if we consider the fibonacci diagram of ac then Yes, sir. What about the forces acting there? 
of course neglecting the so the resultant will be equal to p resultant is equal to p some p is applied here at this joint and at this joint there will be some reaction offered by this member b so if it is like a truss then there will be some force s from the member bc and there will be two reactions vertical and horizontal at this support a or the pin support a this is c this is compression what is your common sense calling sir net force Very along nice. the rod must be uh, same as rah plus rav net force in the rod okay component along uh, in the direction of rod compressive or tensile what is maybe so draw the fibro diagram of a okay it is the force in the member ac horizontal component of reaction vertical component of reaction at a so to solve these three unknowns even if you suggest that ra8 and rv8 other ra8 and rv are combined, combined to give us a combined reaction at support a so definitely it will be like this and this combined reaction and this force s ac are same even if you draw the fibro diagram of this joint c at joint c there are forces like p due to symmetry they will be same so we can solve for this joint c the angle with the vertical do the theta okay so once we solve this type of thing like this truss then find this inclined forces and transfer of this inclined force to this support a we can find out the horizontal and vertical component and from overall equilibrium we can find out the vertical component of reactions due to symmetry it will be simply half of p half of p okay now there may be uh, now let me create some space here okay
Now, definitely you have seen this type of connected members. Can you remember this? Yes, sir. Where did you see Sir, Krutov me. Huh? Sir, trust. Uh, not trust. It's some kind of collapsible gate like structure. Okay. Ah, yes, sir. So if we hold this end here and pull it in this direction, naturally the gate it opens. Open means the space increases. This kind of thing happens. Of course, there should be some elements here which can move down. Now for this type of situation, what should be the relation between the forces F1 and F2 for equilibrium? Are they same? For Sigma FX zero? There will be some reaction here. Some reaction here. Maybe uh, due to symmetry, these two are equal. So if these two reactions are RA and RB or of same value, maybe it's R. So if one plus minus F2 minus 2 R that is equal to 0. Now if there is no force F2 here, you are applying some force F1. So there is a possibility that indefinitely it is going to collapse outward. And if we apply opposite force naturally, there will be tendency as if you are closing and opening your collapsible gate at the entrance of your building. So what about the relation between F1 and F2 for equilibrium that you are pulling by this force F1? and you are pulling it back by the force F2, but not at that same location where F1 has been applied. Anyway, all these are connected to problems of statics. Just writing down the equations of equilibrium from the free body diagram, etc. But this type of difficulty arises. And to solve this thing, some so many years back, uh, definitely you have heard the name some Swiss mathematician Bernoulli, and in that uh, Bernoulli family there are uh, some Jean Bernoulli, J E A N, and uh, he invented this that is when the system is in equilibrium, and if we apply some very small, infinitesimally small displacement to that system, which is possible 
but actually it is not applied. We imagine that compatible to the system, we apply some virtual displacement. So naturally for that displacement to the system, locations of the forces will be shifted, whether it is reaction or applied forces or whatever may be the other thing. There will be some dislocation or shift of the position. So the force and the corresponding displacement, of course, it will be compatible to the system of the structure. Then we can calculate the work done. So that work done by the individual forces, whether it is action or reaction, that is individual forces multiplied by its corresponding component of displacement, which has been developed from that applied infinitesimally small imaginary displacement. So that summation will be equal to the work done by the resultant force. So that resultant force multiplied by corresponding displacement. Now for the system of statics, in the problem of statics, there is no resultant force. So what about the total work done, which is called virtual work done, that is equal to zero. That resultant is zero for a system in static equilibrium. And that simple idea is utilized to solve this kind of problem very efficiently. Of course, statics problem you can solve just drawing the Freeboy diagram, then writing down the equations of equilibrium, etc., etc. But more efficiently, we can solve this problem by this method. Idea is very simple. Just apply one displacement, which is not a real displacement. It is virtual displacement to that system which is in equilibrium. And the system which is in equilibrium, the resultant force is zero. Now, when we apply some displacement at a particular location, of course, which is compatible to the system, it will produce the corresponding displacement to other locations also. So whenever we have that kind of related deformation, dislocation or displacement of the location of the forces, then multiply with the forces for those displacements, we get the corresponding work done. And that simple idea that total virtual work done is equal to zero. And here it has been explained in that way. We remove this support so that it can slide. That sliding is stopped by this horizontal reaction Q. When this horizontal reaction Q is required there, when you remove this wall from that place, so naturally it produces another reaction AX here. And of course, you can understand that it depends on the magnitude of the vertically applied force P. If there is no force P applied, it is not able to slide towards right of its own. When some force is applied, it will try to slide outward. To stop that, you need some force Q. Now, when you apply more and more force, more and more value for this force P, then you need more and more support reaction in the form of Q from that wall. As if you have removed the wall and using your hands, you are holding the block here. Okay. And when you apply some virtual displacement of magnitude delta XB for this joint B or this support B towards right, then definitely with reference to this free joint A, rather a free, it can move freely, the frictionless hinge, it will rotate about this point and point C will come down during the rotation by virtue of this very small angular rotation delta theta. So for this linear displacement delta XB, naturally there will be rotation of this member AC. So C comes here to this position C dash and naturally C dash B dash will be the new position for this member BC. 
and here is certain important thing. XB original location was 2L sin theta. OK, and when we. Provide some change in angle delta theta to have delta XB towards right or you give this linear displacement towards right. There will be certain change in angle theta that is delta theta and this is the relation for the movement of B towards right. That is along X direction and change in angle. OK. And similarly. Displacement of corresponding displacement of point C. We have applied this displacement delta XB, which causes some angular change in this angle theta. And obviously the point C comes down from this location to this location and in Y direction, definitely it is negative Y direction, so minus del YC. OK, and what about this value? Original YC was L cos theta. Get that differential value. Del YC is equal to minus L sin theta del theta and del YC automatically. Moving downward for increase in theta, so theta increases Y decreases. Now what about the work done? work done corresponding to anyway uh, sorry if the whole thing q is the force applied towards right other that reaction required there to stop sliding outward and displacement is opposite to that so minus q multiplied by delta xb it should have its proper sign it's a scalar quantity that work done and the force P corresponding to its movement delta YC is doing some work and it will be this magnitude del YC and this magnitude P positive. So P L sine theta delta theta. And algebraic summation if this of this work done, that is equal to zero, which gives the relation Q is equal to half P tan theta. So which is very easily solved using this method that for any system which is in static equilibrium, apply some possible infinitesimally small displacement, imaginary displacement, it is virtual. So apply certain virtual displacement and find out the dislocation or displacement of other connected locations corresponding to this applied displacement, this virtual displacement and find out or calculate the work done by all the forces, action or reaction present in this system corresponding to those forces multiplying with the corresponding compatible deformation or displacement or dislocation. OK, but one thing, what about the work done by this force in? <clears throat> Always zero. Because displacement delta XP is perpendicular to the direction of the force N. Next, work done by the reaction component AY rather uh, RAV. Displacement is zero. No. It is a fixed location A. Of course, about A, the rod AC can rotate, but there is no translation, no linear displacement at A. So RAV, this force is not doing any work. This force is also not doing any work. 
So in that equation or algebraic summation of all the work done by all the forces present in the system is only these two. And find the relation between P, Q, L, theta, etc. Cancel out this non-zero del theta term. So we get Q is equal to half P tan theta. So for different value of theta, you will get different supports. <coughs> so am I clear? <coughs> or any query is there? Now you just no, sir. Uh, give me one minute. I will take the attendance. Otherwise, uh, we are almost at the end of the class. So please. So is that screen visible? Hello? Yes, sir. OK. Yes, sir. So thing is very simple. Just you have to understand you need to apply very small, infinitesimally small displacement to some possible location and find out the displacement or dislocation of other points or places where forces are there and multiply the force with the corresponding component of the displacement and get the algebraic summation is equal to zero and write down that equation and find out this uh, angle theta for which it will be in equilibrium for certain value of q or for certain value of theta, what will be the value of Q? That is the support reaction, horizontal support reaction is required. Now, if by any chance it is in this form, The theta here and theta here, they are not same. So if we apply any small displacement towards right for this location B, then what about the value of this delta XB? Definitely it will be L1 cosine theta 1 plus L2 cosine theta 2 and derivative of that. So delta theta 1 and delta theta 2 that we must know. So change in this member AC rather the angle and change in the angle for this member BC. So that type of simple modification of the system may be there just to uh, make us a little bit more involved with the problem so that we can think it clearly. But one thing for solving this problem of statics in this equation, we are directly excluding the forces which are not doing any work. 
this one, this one, and this one corresponding to this displacement. This is doing some work, yeah, and this is doing some work. And for this horizontal displacement at B, there is some vertical displacement at C. So that comparability we must understand. Now here is another similar kind of situation, but it has been a little bit rather some more involvement is required. This is the hinge support. Here is the roller support. Now weights are neglected. So if we are yes. on the class from there. Oh sure, sure. Now please uh, take the screenshot of this uh, page and uh, in most of the books you will find this is a very standard example to uh, discuss about this solution. OK, so find the value for for equilibrium. What is the value for theta and this thing? So in our next class, we will continue for this virtual principle, but you must continue that self study. OK, the screenshot taken. OK, then so please permit me. To leave. Thank you, sir.